There is breaking news tonight on the president's son-in-law, who's also a top advisor, who also apparently has no permanent security clearance and hasn't this entire time. We're talking, of course, about Jared Kushner and White House Chief of Staff John Kelly's effort recently to curb the access of such people to classified information. Now there's word of resistance from Kushner against Kelly. Joining us by phone is Julie Hirschfeld Davis, one of the uh, two New York Times correspondent on this breaking story, which just posted. Um, it, it just, it, it just talk about for our viewers who have not seen this story, talk about what you have learned. Well, the, the, John Kelly, the chief of staff, put out a memo on Friday basically saying that he was going to change the policy now regarding security clearances at the White House. And one of the things that he's going to do going forward, he said, is to essentially revoke the security clearance, the high-level clearance um, that folks who are currently serving in the White House have um, if they have not yet cleared their background check, and that's been pending for several months. He put a cutoff date of June 1st. It's, there's some debate over whether that applies to Jared Kushner or not, but it's clear that because Jared Kushner is one of the high-level officials in the West Wing who is serving with an interim clearance, that this is going to affect him in some way. And he's been trying, as have other officials in the West Wing, to figure out how this is going to affect him exactly. And uh, what we've learned is that he is concerned that uh, he doesn't want to have to give up his level of clearance that he has right now, which allows him to see the presidential daily briefing and other materials. And um, so there's sort of this uh, quiet internal struggle going on over whether he's going to continue to have the level of access that he has enjoyed and whether others, and we don't know necessarily who, what their names are, are going to continue to have access to the kind of information that they have had, um, even though they haven't been cleared for a permanent clearance um, by, by the White House office that's in charge of doing that.